my gosh, we're just smooth sailing here. This is awesome. We're almost halfway up already. One of the places that I always dreamed of going for years, we finally went in October. Santorini! Santorini! Oh. It was amazing, honestly. It definitely lived up to the hype, and it was so much fun to see just the colors and the culture, and it was a little bit claustrophobic at times, like the roads are pretty tiny and you're on a cliff, literally on the edge of a cliff, half the time. So if you're afraid of heights and claustrophobic, this might not be your ideal place, but the views and the people and the atmosphere were just so like, oh, just amazing. So this is a Greek island and we arrived by cruise ship, but it was really breathtaking to see. Oh, yeah. It just looked like there was an island, you know, that had been raised like a volcanic island. Yeah. It had a little town that is like a painted town on, on the top. You know, I know it has a couple different towns in different areas there, but really just kind of small little pieces as we came in. It was really breathtaking to see. And we did the tram on the way up. You uh -huh. can do donkeys. You've got to escalate all the way up to the top. So oh, yeah. it, you're either on the tram or you're doing donkeys. So you could have even walked up, like for people who didn't want to pay the fee. Just, yeah, you can walk up where that... the donkeys walk up. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's it'll free be of crappy. charge. Let's just say it's called, <laughs> it'll be crappy experience for you, but if that's what you're looking for. So I remember we went up there and we took a taxi to the archaeological site first. See, that was mm -hmm. so fun. Oh my gosh. There was an entire city and then a volcano went off and they've been excavating the remains ever since. And I didn't know that there was anything like that on Santorini. These, uh... They keep the rocks together. They put plas plas uh, plaster on both sides with a, a stretch band to keep the broken rock together. Crazy. We're walking through the city right now, babe. I was like the Pompeii of the East, you know? It's uh, breathtaking to see. Where are we? We're in a archeological dig site um, about 3,500 years ago. It was a volcano and it was considered to be the Pompeii of the Aegean, but it's a hundred times greater of an explosion than Pompeii itself. Wow. So this is what's left of a volcano explosion. They, they had done a good job um, really excavating it and they're still in the process of doing that. They built a whole building around it. The entire city was like destroyed but then caramelized at the same time, forever in time. They relate it to Pompeii, you mm -hmm. know, and its magnitude. It pretty much leveled the entire like crater that you come in into Santorini was supposedly the volcanic eruption. We walked through there and it's something, if you've never been to a site like that, something to see yeah it was a really kind of haunting and equally awe-inspiring to recognize like so many different experiences of life have been had up until this point in our same world in the exact same place mm -hmm. is really really a kind of spiritual moment for me everything that great food has oh. to offer i mean every every stop we we made, you know, we made sure we got olives and hummus. I'm that person, guys. I sit down and I'm like, can I just have a plate of olives, please? Because they are so good in Greece. They are so not what we have here yeah. in the United States. Greek food in general is just way better mm -hmm. in Greece, obviously. It was really hot, too, and I remember that. So we, like, walked around a little bit, and I wanted to get a dress because... This is when we're in, oh, it's like Ohio, I believe. Yeah. Yes, we, dro we drove all the way across the other side of the island. Uh-huh. And it, it didn't take too long, maybe 25, 20 minutes? Yeah, we took the faster route that was through the fields rather mm -hmm. than the main route, which is on the top side. That's where some of the classic domes are. All the Instagram spots. You know? Oh my gosh, totally. 
just magical. And everywhere you go, it's like you, you just, you take a step down and you see more and then you go down the cliff a little more and you see a totally different mm -hmm. view and it's amazing. You wouldn't even know from the top that there's like 20 layers of right. like buildings and shops and mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. But I left the rest of um, all of us that were traveling together and I got this dress and I just remember, I don't like to buy things very much. Like I'm not very materialistic yeah, in that way. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And so I think I came back like four times to check in, you know. I know. I went and had a meal and came back. Totally. I was struggling, guys. <laughs> I, I just, it's not me to like just impulse buy anything. So I like to take my time. So I literally went into this woman's shop and I had the nicest conversation with her. She was so sweet. And she was talking about how it was the end of the season and it was the very last day. And so the, you know, the dresses were on sale and she helped me try on this one and that one, just the sweetest. She's like, here's my honest opinion. Here's what I think. Oh my gosh, this and this and that. And she's talking about life on the island and what her lifestyle is and she it said like she- It like shuts down for like six months. Yeah. It? So she said she works like 12 hour days in the shop every day, mm -hmm. but then gets like six months off. And that's mm -hmm. the way that she lived and yeah. just fascinating. And it's remote. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, you cross the whole island in like 30, 40 minutes and totally. that's it. So finally I got one, uh, I got a dress that was blue and it matched everything there. So it was really nice vibes. And we didn't spend the night cause we were staying on the cruise ship. So we actually got to depart with the sunset, you know, in the evening, but uh, we have wonderful reservations at a, a nice restaurant. Oh my gosh. You know, over the, the best reviews at this restaurant. Whoa. Yeah. Over the water. It was, you know, seafood, lots of fun, expected Greek food. Here we go, off to dinner, or sunset dinner. Yes, please. We had like branzino and really yummy salads and mozzarella and olives, olives and hummus. Olives, of course. <laughs> yeah. Gluten -free. At dinner, with my love, gluten-free bread. Mm -hmm. And Santorini, there's Ginny and there's Steve. We found him on the island. <laughs> Look at this view. We found him on the island. Very bonita. They had gluten-free bread there, I remember that. Yeah. And that was in a hotel, you know, it's like pro tip if you if you're ever looking for like a safe bet, you know, if you've got some particular dietary restrictions. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of hotels have good accommodations for like almond milk and gluten-free things. So we had a wonderful meal. They didn't want us to have dinner, remember? I do remember that. They had other reservations that evening, but they got a weather report while we were eating and they heard there was weather coming from Athens. They all started packing up all the cushions and everything like, hey, we're getting ready. You know, they said something's coming over. We ordered our food and we ate decently fast and then it started to rain a little bit. Mm -hmm. So they actually got moving. I think they said it didn't rain very often and like I said earlier when we were there it was so hot and it was bl like beautiful blue clear skies absolutely stunning all of a sudden we see these clouds roll in and it did really feel like Greek mythology I'm like I understand why mm -hmm. these people think Zeus is probably angry right now because it, yeah. it looks pretty angry so we finished up and we're we're starting to get rain on sprinkling and, it's, mm -hmm. and, and we heard from the waitress that it's coming it's gonna come so we start trekking back. It was like a Egyptian sandstorm that came, came out in. of nowhere. Oh, it was crazy. As, Mind you, it's dark. Yeah, it just, it went it went to like pitch black. Yeah. The sun's blocked out now, like the storm's coming. Apocalypse. But finally we make it back. And the best thing that I saw, I think the whole trip was all the donkeys trying to go downhill on stone in the rain. And it was like the they streets were, were flooded. Of them. Yeah, the streets were flooded, but they had to take the donkeys, put them in shelter. I felt so bad for them, to be honest. I'm sure they're well taken care of. But then, hilariously. But that, though, is the traffic jam of Santorini, those that's, donkeys. They don't have a 405, but they do have, you know. Donkeys. Yeah. That was it. A bumper that to was bumper. The jam. Yeah. Then it like just stopped raining just as soon as it started. It was dark by then. So we just hung out around the shops, I think got some gelato or something. Mm -hmm. um, looked at just so much amazing Beautiful artwork. Views and restaurants there. And yeah. And everyone was doing their end of the season sales. I definitely got a gear on the way down. He totally did. And very was, much enjoyed it. And it's $3, but it was like so perfect. I think that's one of the things that you've talked about even the most from that whole trip. When in Greece, 
You got a gyro. Perfect amount of salt, perfect amount of like dressing so in good, there, maybe. perfect amount of meats, mixed meats. And all I remember the was bread. they say it like euro, like euro. And I kept thinking people were talking about euros all day long, like the money. Yeah. <laughs> and I was and like, maybe oh, that's that, how you say it. I don't, but, mm -hmm. It was overall just so, so memorable between all the different things that we got to experience in just one day on mm -hmm. the island. So. Yeah. And if you, if you have a chance to go, it's really chill. So, you know, you're not going to do crazy adventurous things there per se. It's a very small little island and it's pretty remote. It was definitely a very dream. beautiful and yeah. worth it's worth going at least once. Yeah, we're the kind of people that I think, it, you know, we'd love to go back for like two to three days. But I think after three days, we would get a little bit of island fever. Unless I was writing a book or, you know, doing work. Right. Then you go out and you're like, look at the view. I'm going to go have a gyro. I'm going to walk over and get a coffee, right? It's a very fun island, uh, but very small island. I mean, I get claustrophobic in Hawaii. And so Santorini was so much smaller, but very fun. Worth a trip. If you love to travel in the U.S. or abroad, I encourage you click that su subscribe button because we're going to be sharing a lot of insider tips coming up. And smash that like button if you like this video.